You want to say hello? <coughs> no, you just want your theory done. Well, hi guys, it's Sunday, Sunday evening. No, it's not Saturday evening. A little bit confused, but <laughs> normally I go to Mum's on a Sunday, so my brain is still sort of thinking it's Sunday when it's Saturday. Saturday, 23rd of July, to be precise. Um, it was nice to get to the car boot. I sweated my titties off to the point, you know, I'm trying to like communicate with stall holders, you know, to buy things and the water is just literally dripping off me. I'm having to use the shirt I'm wearing, you know, as a sweat rag. Um, I didn't come back with a great deal, but I came back with some items at least, uh, some bicycle parts. I am so bad at this camera, aren't I? Every time I look away, the camera drifts up like that. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. Um, <clears throat> those that regularly watch my videos, which probably isn't very many of you. <laughs> so I've got 103 subscribers, so I don't think many actually watch. I could be wrong. I don't actually keep an eye on the views. <laughs> but um, you'd know I was looking for... A new light fixture for the lounge um, one that I could fit LED bulbs to and uh, I was looking for like a well what we'd call over here a, actually no not a four tier a four um, or quad spotlight I think it's the best description um, it's fully adjustable the light unit or the light fixture bits lamp holders they are fully adjustable themselves, and I can actually undo a little grub screw in there and move this whole bar. Um, the only downside is, which I forgot about, there's no bracket for this. Um, but that doesn't matter, I could just drill a couple of holes through there for screws and just uh, screw it straight to the ceiling if I want to. Or just make a bracket out of it bit of metal. It's, it's not an issue. I'm sure um, if I took that back to Mum's tomorrow I could fabricate something if I had to. Uh, what else? I'll get to what's up on the shelf in a minute because I'm, I'm going to do a video for the Lego channel tonight. I've got enough to actually do an update. Um, I've got those aluminium handlebars, drop-down bars for a road bike, one pound. The pump, one pound. And the uh, seat post, that, yeah, that black bar there is a seat, aluminium seat post for one pound. And I keep forgetting, I keep looking above the camera. And of course, when I look above the camera, my finger is actually pointing at the pump, but it's way off on camera. I've got to remember to look through the camera when I'm pointing things, anyway, or pointing at things, I should say. Uh, that was two pounds. There was a stereo system like this, a very nice one, but by the time I saw it, I was just too hot and sweaty, and it was a hell of a walk back to the car to drop everything off. Then I'd have had to have walked back, got the stereo, carried it back, probably in two trips, because there's no way I'd have carried that stereo and the speakers and the graphic equaliser that was with it, that had a separate one. Well, I presume that was with it. It was sitting on top of the speaker. Yes, yeah, so I just decided against it. I'll, I'll find a stereo eventually. Um, a few more bike parts I got. A couple of these um, single-speed free wheels. Commonly found on your generic BMX bikes or kids' bikes or... Sometimes, even um, adults' bikes will have these, but I've got that Barracuda frame with no hanger, no Dralia hanger, so I can't fit rear Dralia. Um, so this is a cheap alternative, as these again were one pound each. I've got some bike tools missing. Where did I put those? Oh, I'll get to those in a minute. Um, so I could actually put these on a wheel and make up... Um, I will have to put spaces on, I think. I could make up my own thing. Um, 
as Biggle said, these are bastard to get off wheels, especially if you don't have the tool. You need a tool that locks into that notch and that notch. If you don't have it, they're an absolute pain to get off. Um, got a little car for Mitsubishi Lancer because it's one of my favourite types of cars. 50p, 50p, 50p because I'm hoping these plugs will fit a um, classic cell phone I've got. There's some metal here. It's a um, RCA cable for a Nintendo Wii, I believe, looking at that. And it's the right shape, anyway, it's got Nintendo on it. Now, where have I put them pockets? There they are. And uh, those that are regular to my videos will know that in my bike videos I've done, I often have said uh, I'm breaking chain splitter tools and I'm having to like buy one every six months or so. So from the same bike stall I got these again for a pound each and there's three of them. And they are a good brand so you know they're not the cheap shit that I'd get out of Rory's or a cheap one out of Wilco's. Wilco's do decent ones. I mean I've got my black one in here somewhere. It's laying in here somewhere. Somewhere it's in there. I don't know where. I can't see it at the moment. But uh, I, I know it's pretty even be in this bit at the bottom. I don't know. Yeah, that's a decent one I bought. Um, brand new set of bike lights. These were still sealed in the pack. I opened them up, inserted the batteries. And they work. Why did I buy this set, especially when I've already got two of these? Well, just for the simple reason it is a set, because I haven't got a front one. I only bought it because I want the front one, but... The other two I might include on a bike when I sell them or something, because I'm not going to need them. I might keep one as a spare, but... Euro like they were a brand that was commonly stocked by the chain store Woolworths before they closed. And went um, out of business. I've also got this for £10, so 10, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, I don't really want, you know, the 2 by bricks in here, but I just got it for the plates really. And the weird looking car. Actually, I had to pay for that separately. Because that was on the table. So that was an extra £2.50. So just over £20, I spent. I actually don't know exactly what's in here. I haven't had a look. But, uh... Mum was like, I hope you knocked them. Why would I knock them? There's a lot more than £10 worth of Lego here. You know, I would have felt cheeky knocking them, and I'm not like that. It was already at a bargain price, so... Yay! I'm going to do some, uh, Lego videos later. Or a Lego video. So this can actually go into the bedroom, because I'm going to do it in the bedroom. And I couldn't resist. I shouldn't have, but I saw these on offer in Sainsbury's earlier, and I had to grab them. I wouldn't mind trying to get hold of another two, because these are two in one. Or at least this one. I'm not fussed so much about the drag car, so I may actually um, go online and get the instructions for the truck. <laughs> but I might tomorrow... Go get one more of these just to build up this one. So I can build up this model, which is the second one, as well as the skid steer, which is the main model in this one. I don't have much technique. I would like to get into it. Maybe fuck it.
second one I was at, well I think I'm going to end up throwing those out. Right, as for my light fin, I want four of these, I think that would light up the lounge quite well. Um, because I need the extra light in the lounge is what the reason I wanted the extra light fitting on it. Because that's a three-way, that one. It's only got three bulbs on it. Um, which is plenty good enough for the bedroom. I need to get an LED bulb for that, so I'm going to have a look at QDs tomorrow, see what they've got, and, what they've, and get a reminder of what the prices are. So, uh, yeah. It's exactly the same, but this takes GU10 bulbs. I've got some halogen, but if you think about it, 50 watt mat, so if I stuck four 50 watt halogen bulbs in there, that light fin would be drawing 200 watts of power. You know, I might as well just have a single floodlight up in here. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, four LED bulbs may not be saving any more power than that because it's a 35 watt, but you know, about 9 watts. I can't remember what they are in the bedroom. I know they're equivalent to a 60 watt light bulb each. So, if I put 5 watt bulbs in there, that's still 20 watts of power. It could actually be a lot less than that. 15 watts less. That's a 35. 35 watt or is that 37? It might even be a 37. I can't remember. Can I read it on the bottom there? Not from here, I can't. <laughs> oh, Nemo, have you gone and taken a dump, boy? Ooh. You want to go in a competition for a smelly ship? I'll win. Because your smell doesn't hang around as long. <laughs> um, we had to go straightening out those bent forks as well. but They're straighter, but the actual steerer tube is a bit wobbly itself now, so... I'm not sure it's going to work. I can try it, see what it's like, but I'm still not sure it's going to work. Um, so I forgot to bring them back today as well. We tried the yellow pair for the um, Peugeot I've got out on the land in here, but um, that was an absolute no-go. We couldn't do those, so I just threw those straight on the scrap pile down the yard. We tried going down the, you know, the, where the banger lads do their cars in the barn down the yard, and... Uh, just to stick the forks in their vice, because the ones we've got in the workshop, they're good enough for clamping things in, but when you want to put force behind something to straighten something, they're not really strong enough. The wood they're bolted to isn't strong enough, I should say. But, uh, never mind. Alright, I'm going to do these videos. Did they get my ass in the gear, don't I? I think I've got enough through there for a bit of a Lego update for the Lego channel, just to show that I'm still alive. And that I haven't, you know, disappeared off the face of the planet. Because it is my, um... It's weird. It's... The only channel I've got, or it's the channel with the most subscribers, is what I was trying to say. But I don't put videos up as frequently because I'm not working on Lego 24-7, you know, I've got to do other things. I've got to do adult things. It sucks, but it's got to be done. So I don't really blame adults for running around, you know, chasing imaginary Pokemon. It's a way for people to just chill out, you know, to take their mind off everything. So I use Lego and the PC. Some people use their bloody phones, so... Whatever floats their boat, as they say. Um, but yeah. I'm putting videos up every day on this channel. Shit, I admit that. They are shit. They're, they're not special. Not Well, I haven't been for a while. Cause, well, one, my good camera died. And I've still got to get another one. I was hoping I could get some bikes from the recycle centre, do them up and sell them, but 
My supplies ran dry down there. There hasn't been anything there. There's a dual suspension bike. Which I might grab tomorrow. Been there about a week. Um, mainly just because I has been there over a week. And the forks, I thought the forks were seized, but they're not. They are just sticky, but I managed to push them down. But they didn't spring back on their own. I had to push them manually. So with a bit of WD-40, they'll go again. And a bit of a clean, because they're a little rusty, but... No front wheel, but everything else is there, so I could actually clean it up and... and get rid of a cheap bike there. I could make uh, 20 quid on it, maybe. Um, blah, 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 yeah, I think that's just about it. I haven't forgotten about the take apart of this stereo. I just got to find the um, power supply I was using for my Canon camera. I really don't know what to do with this channel either, you know. I love doing these videos, even if they are just chatting vlogs most of the time. But, uh,. I want to do something that's a bit more interesting to watch, but I just don't know what to do. I really don't. Pour myself a drink, that might be a, a good start for tonight. So I need to, I need to take my uh, evening pill when I can find a tray. I think oh, it's up there, sorry. Stepdad wants to go fishing, he's got a load of fishing gear. And they live right near a river, so why not? Yeah, he came back from the tip with a couple of books on fish and a bite alarm for fishing to alert you that you've got a bite. You know, if you're sleeping or reading a book or something. Um, and at first the bite alarm wouldn't work. But then again it was waterlogged. Uh, but then he got it, the light to flash, but no sound. So uh, what we did, or what he did, he opened it up and just left it out in the sun to dry, which believe me today didn't take very long at all. I think he only left it out there about 30 minutes and it dried bone dry. Put a 9 volt battery in it and it worked perfectly. There's nothing wrong with it. And he paid 50p for the lot. 50p. So I think he uh, definitely got a bargain there. Right. Well. I think I'm going to shut the video down here because uh, I could just ramble on and on. I don't really do, but 18 and 20 minutes is what I like to aim for. So, uh, thank you very much for watching if you made it this far. I haven't bored you to death. Uh, <laughs> oh, Big Clive has got a couple of videos up. Oh, that looks nasty. Is it? Inside a Hyundai surge protection strip. Hmm. We do need to invest in some decent cameras, don't we? Or a tape for one of those Panasonics. So I could permanently have the Panasonic mounted up there. I can't just take the tape out and put it in the cannon and transfer it to the other machine. I don't know. Maybe next time I get paid I'll have a look on eBay and see if I can pick up something semi-cheap. Anyway, as I said, thanks for watching and uh, I'll talk to you again tomorrow night when I get home from Mum's. So, uh, yeah, bye.